good morning students today we are going to start with inert pair effect inert pair effect the heavier post transition metals in heavier post transition metals the outer s electron having a tendency to remain to remain inert and show reluctance to take part in bonding which is known as inert pair effect so if they ask what is inert pair effect mean you have to write these three lines in heavier post transition metals that is after transition metals transition metal means d block so after transition metal the outer s electron having a tendency to remain inert already you know in s orbital it contains two electron so the outer s electron that is the two electrons having a tendency to remain inert and show the reluctance to take part in bonding which is known as inert pair effect reluctant means what tayakam so s orbital won't s orbital contains two electron that electrons won't involve in bonding easily that is called as inert pair effect inert means what mandama irukirathu inert inert means it won't react so inert pair yaar mandama irukirathu pair means two which two s orbital contain two electron that two electron are or inert in nature that is called as inert pair effect we have already learned that alkali and alkaline earth metal have an oxidation state plus 1 and plus 2 for alkali metal plus 1 for alkaline earth metal plus 2 it corresponding to the total number of electron present in them similarly the elements of p block also shows that oxidation state corresponding to the maximum number of valence electron similarly the element of p block also shows the oxidation state corresponding to the maximum number of valence electron maximum number of valence electron in addition they also shows variable oxidation state that is more than one oxidation number in case of the heavier post transition metals that is after transition metal it belonging to the group number 13 and 16 that is b p block the most stable oxidation state is 2 less than the group oxidation state 2 is less because the two electron won't involve in reaction readily so the most stable oxidation state in p block is 2 less than the group oxidation number and there is a reluctance to exhibit the group oxidation state so let us consider the group 13 element as we move from boron to heavier as we move from boron to heavier that is boron aluminum gallium indium thallium there is an increase in tendency to have plus 1 oxidation state rather than plus 3 oxidation state so 2 is less for example aluminum 3 plus is more stable than aluminum plus tl plus 1 is more stable than thallium plus 3 aluminum 3 chloride is stable whereas thallium 3 chloride is highly unstable see here students both aluminum and thallium are having plus 3 and plus 1 oxidation state in aluminum plus 3 oxidation state is stable but in thallium plus 1 oxidation is state is stable because of inert pair effect see let us consider group number 13 13 from boron to heavier increase in tendency to have plus 1 oxidation state as we move from top to bottom 
bore on to heavier elements increase in tendency to have plus 1 oxidation state so only thallium plus 1 is more stable than plus 3 for example aluminium plus 3 is more stable than aluminium plus but thallium plus 1 thallium plus 1 is more stable than thallium plus 3 while you are moving from top to bottom the tendency increase in tendency to have plus 1 oxidation state rather than plus 3 for example aluminium plus 3 is more stable than aluminium plus 1 while thallium plus 1 is more stable than thallium plus 3 because aluminium 3 chloride is stable whereas thallium 3 chloride is highly unstable and disproportionate to thallium 1 chloride and chlorine gas this shows that thallium the stable lower oxidation state correspond to the last number of NP electrons and not NS electron. So, thus in heavier post transition elements, the outer S electron having tendency. So, in heavier post transition metal, the outer electron having a tendency to remain inert and show reluctance to take part in a chemical bonding that is known as inert pair effect. Next topic allotropism. Allotropism in P block elements. Allotropes means what? Same chemical properties but different physical properties. So, some element exists in more than one crystalline or molecular form in the same physical state. Some element exists in more than one crystalline or molecular form in the same physical state. Example, carbon. Carbon exists in two different forms. One is graphite, another one diamond mainly. For example, carbon exists as a diamond and graphite. This phenomenon is called as allotropism. Allo means another, trope means change, that means another change. The different forms of the element are called as allotropes. And many P block elements show allotropism, and some of the common allotropes are listed in the table. And some elements and its common allotropes are given. First one boron, amorphous boron, alpha rhombohedral boron, beta rhombohedral boron, gamma rhombo orthorhombic boron, alpha tetragonal boron, beta tetragonal boron. Next one carbon, diamond, graphite, graphene, fullerene, carbon nanotubes. These are all isotopes, allotropes of carbon. Silicon, amorphous silicon, crystalline silicon, germanium, alpha germanium, beta germanium, tin, grey tin, white tin, rhombic tin, sigma tin and phosphorus. White phosphorus, red phosphorus, scarlet phosphorus, violet phosphorus, black phosphorus, arsenic, yellow arsenic, grey arsenic, black arsenic. Next topic, group 13, boron group elements. Boron occurs mainly as a borate and its important O or borax. Occurs as borate and important O's are borax and kernite. Borax formula Na2B4O5 OH4 times 8H2O. Kernite formula Na2B4O5 OH4, all are same. Number of water molecules is 2 only, that is 2 molecules of water. Aluminium is the most abundant metal and occurs as an oxide and also found in aluminosilicate rocks. Aluminium is the most abundant metal and occurs as an oxide. So, generally aluminium exists as an oxide. Also found in aluminosilicate rocks, commercially is extracted from its chief ore, bauxite. Bauxite means Al2O3.2H2O. The other elements of the group occur only in trace amounts. So, the other elements gallium, indium, thallium all are occurs as a, their sulphide O's. Next topic, physical properties. For boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium all are exist as a solid 
only at 293 kelvin atomic number is given isotopes of boron boron 11 aluminum 27 gallium 69 for indium indium 115 and thallium 205 atomic mass is given electronic configuration all are having s2 p1 configuration atomic radius atomic radius generally if you are moving from top to bottom decreases but here first it is decreases from 1.92 to 1.84 and then it started to increase density 2.34 to 11.80 that is increases x1 melting point another one boiling point melting point first it then de decreases first it is decreases from 2350 to 302.76 and then increases to 579 boiling point 4273 that is first boiling point is decreases gradually next one chemical properties of boron chemical properties of boron why boron compounds are covalent in nature means you have to write this paragraph many of its compounds many of its compounds are electron deficient so many of boron compounds it is electron deficient and has a unusual type of covalent bonding which is due to the small size it has a unusual type of covalent bonding which is due to the small size high ionization energy and similarly similarity in the electronegativity with carbon and hydrogen so due to small size unusual electron bonding is there small size high ionization energy and similarly electronegativity with carbon and hydrogen formation of metal borides many metal except alkali metals forms borides many metal so except alkali metal all other forms borides with the formula m4by mxby x ranging from 11 and y ranging from 66 or higher direct combinations of metal with the boron so chromium is directly combined with boron at 1500 kelvin means forms it forms crbn reduction of boron trihalides see the equation boron trihalide bcl3 it react with tungsten w at the temperature 1500 kelvin in presence of hydrogen it forms tungsten boride wb plus cl3 plus hcl two tungsten for your understanding i am taking two tungsten here it is reacted with two molecules of bcl3 one tungsten take this boron and one tungsten take this boron means we will get two molecules of tungsten boride and then totally how many chlorines are here six chlorine out of that four chlorine is removed as 2cl2 remaining two chlorine take this hydrogen and formed two hcl so reduction of boron trichloride with metal here boron trichloride is reduced with help of metal that is tungsten and this reaction is assisted by dihydrogen gives metal boride tungsten boride next one formation of hydrides boron does not react with hydrogen however it forms a variety of hydrides called borates 
boron does not react with hydrogen however it forms variety of hydrides that is called as borane very important compound the simplest borane is diborane b2h6 other larger boranes can be prepared by from diborane treatment of gaseous boron of trifluoride treatment of gaseous boron trifluoride with sodium hydride this is boron trifluoride react with sodium hydride around 450 kelvin it gives diborane that is b2h6 to prevent subsequent pyrolysis the product diborane is trapped immediately so bf3 contains two boron for your understanding i am writing two molecules of bf3 and reacted with six molecules of sodium hydride this two boron take this six hydrogen and formed as diborane b2h6 remaining six sodium take this six fluorine and removed as six sodium fluoride next topic formations of trifluoride formations of boron trihalides see this reaction here boron combined with halogen to form boron trihalide at high temperature so boron is reacted with halogen forms boron trihalide to be react with 3x2 forms to be x3 next one formations of boron nitride boron burns with dinitrogen at high temperature to form boron nitride boron with the dinitrogen at the high temperature to form boron nitride next one formations of oxide when boron is heated with oxygen when boron is heated with oxygen around 900 kelvin it forms 2b2o3 that is boron oxide and reaction with acid and alkali reactions with acids and alkali halo acids have no reaction with boron however boron react with oxidizing acids such as sulfuric acid and nitric acid forms boric acid that is h3bo3 see here boron 2 boron react with 3h2so4 h2so4 i am writing h2so4 as h2o2 so2 h2 s o4 how many molecule three molecule so we can write h2o2 so2 h2o2 so2 so these two boron takes this three molecules of h2o2 means forms two molecules of h3bo3 h3 two molecules of h3 means totally six hydrogen two boron and again six oxygen and two molecule three molecules of so2 also obtain like that we can write boron react with nitric acid we can write nitric acid as h2o2 h2o2 h2o NO2 3 OH takes this boron means H3BO3 is obtained remaining 3 NO2 
So boron react with fused sodium hydroxide and forms sodium borate. For this reaction also we can write boron react with NaOH. Three molecules of NaO. Each boron react with three molecules of NaOH. 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 This three NaO takes this boron means forms Na3BO3. Like that here, this three NaO group takes this boron means forms. Na3BO3. So, two molecules of Na3BO3 is obtained. Remaining these six hydrogens are removed as 3H2. So, boron react with fused sodium hydroxide and forms sodium borate. Next, uses of boron. Boron has the capacity to absorb neutrons, hence, it itos, its isotope boron 10 is used as a moderator in nuclear reactor. Boron has the capacity to absorb neutron. So it is used as a moderator in nuclear reactor. And second uses amorphous boron is used as a rocket fuel igniter. So it is used as a rocket fuel igniter. Third one boron is a essential for the cell wall for plants, cell wall of plants. And compounds of boron have many applications, for example, eye drops, antiseptic, washing powder, contains boric acid and borax. Both boric acid and borax both contains boron. So it is the, in the manufacture of pyrex glass, boric oxide the also used. So compounds of boron have many applications. So with this, this heading over, next we will start. Borax that is Na2B4O7 dot 10 H2O. Next topic Borax. The formula of Borax is Na2B4O7 dot 10 H2O. So, in this topic, we are going to learn how to prepare Borax and what are the properties of Borax and uses of Borax. First one preparation of borax. Borax is a sodium salt of tetraboric acids. Borax is a sodium salt of tetraboric acid. It is obtained from colmanite. Colmanite. This is colmonite formula that is Ca2B6O11. It is obtained from colmonite ore by boiling its solution with sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3. So, this borax is obtained from colmonite ore boiling its solution with sodium carbonate. That means they explain about this reaction only. Colmonite that is Ca2B6O11 react with sodium carbonate Na2CO3 with water on heating means it gives borax and calcium carbonate and calcium hydroxide. Borax is normally formulated as Na2B4O7.10H2O dot but it contains tetranuclear unit. That is B4 O5 OH4. B4 O5 OH4 times 2 minus. This form is known as prismatic form. Borax also exists two other forms, namely jeweler or octahedral borax and borax glass. So prismatic form means B4 O5 OH4 2 times 2 minus. And two other forms named as jeweler borax and borax glass. Jeweler borax formula Na2B4O7.5H2O 
Borax class means without water. That is Na2B4O7. Next one, properties of borax. Borax is basic in nature and its solution in hot water is alkaline. So, it dissociates into boric acid and sodium hydroxide. Define borax is basic in nature means you have to write this equation. So, Na2B4O7 borax in hot water it is alkaline nature because if it is reacted with the hot water means it produce NaOH. Borax is basic in nature and its solution in hot water it is alkaline nature alkaline means basic because it dissociates into boric acid this is boric acid and sodium hydroxide NaOH. On heating it forms transparent borax beads. To explain the action of heat on borax means you have to write this equation Na2B4O7.10H2O on heating means it loses 10 water molecules and forms Na2B4O7. Again we are heating means from this Na2B4O7 B2O3 is removed, B2O3 is removed, from this molecule B2O3 is removed means remaining you will get Na2B2O4, Na2B2O4 it can be written like this that is 2 molecule of NaBO2. Borax react with acid to form sparingly soluble salt. For understanding the two reactions are given. In first reaction hydrochloric acid, in second reaction sulfuric acid. So, borax react with acid to form sparingly soluble salt NaCl and Na2SO4. Sparingly soluble boric acid, this is boric acid. This is salt NaCl and Na2SO4. So, borax react with acid, borax react with acid, it produces sparingly soluble boric acid. When treated with ammonium chloride, so borax is treated with ammonium chloride, it produces boron nitride, boron nitride that is BN. When treated with ammonium chloride, it forms boron nitride and sodium chloride and boron 3 oxide and water molecules. With this equation properties over. Next uses of borax. Borax is used for the identification of colored metal ions. In the manufacture of optical and borosilicate glass enamels and glasses of glasses for pottery. In the manufacture of optical and borosilicate glass. So it is used for the manufacture of optical and borosilicate glass enamels and glasses for pottery. And third user it is also used as a flux already we learned about flux in metallurgy lesson. It is also used as a flux in metallurgy and also act as a preservative. These are the uses of borax. Remaining we will continue in our next video. Thank you.